In 2022, the second most popular car in Europe was the Dacia Sandero. They sold more than 190,000 Sanderos in the entire year. And now they're introducing a completely new trim, uh, the Extreme trim. Uh, this is the Dacia uh, Sandero Stepway Extreme. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how extreme this car actually is. I'm gonna show you the interior and the exterior, and we're gonna take the car out for a drive. So before we're gonna talk about this Sandero Stepway Extreme, let me tell you a little bit more about the new Extreme trim. The trim is not only exclusive for the Dacia Sandero Stepway, you can get the trim on all the models from Dacia. So the Jogger, the Spring, and the Duster. But if you wanna see some videos on the other Dacia models in the Extreme trim, uh, you have to check out my other videos that I've made with the other uh, models, and I will leave the links to those videos in the description box below. But for now, in this video, we're gonna focus on this Sandero Stepway. So the Extreme trim is basically just a visual change on the car. They haven't changed any technical parts on the car. So the suspension setup is the same. The drivetrains are the same. So I'm just gonna show you now what they have changed on the interior, uh, but let's start with the exterior. And let's start with the front end design on this Sandero Stepway Extreme version. Uh, but before I'm gonna point out all the elements on the Extreme trim, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this new model because this is the facelift model. Obviously, this is the uh, new 2023 model. And you can tell that this is the new model because this car has the new brand identity from Dacia. So that means you got the new uh, Dacia logo here, which is basically like a D and a C connected to each other. And you got all these uh, white stripes in the grille as well. So this is not just for the extreme version. This is new on all the uh, Sandero models. You also get these white daylight running lights. Uh, this is actually pretty clever because they just painted the lights here. So it looks like the lights are always on, even when the car is turned off like it is now. So that's basically standard on all new uh, Dacia uh, Sanderos. So now let's talk about the specific design elements that are part of the Extreme trim. Now first of all, you get a new color, which is called a Cedar Green. And as you can see, it's this metallic looking green color, which looks pretty neat in this car, I have to say. I also get a lot of copper colored elements on this car as well. So for example, you get a little bit of copper trim here, just above the fog lights. And also, well, basically all around the car, you get a lot of copper design elements. So you get it here. Uh, in the wheels, you get the Dacia logo that is copper colored. And the wheels are also specific to the Extreme trim. So these are the 16 inch wheels. So pretty small, but you do get a lot of tire. So that's good for a pretty comfortable uh, driving experience. You also got uh, copper colored uh, mirror caps. And there's a sticker here on the side, again, with the Dacia logo in copper colored. And it has a topographical design, as you can see. You also got the sticker uh, running all the way down the side of the car. Again, the black wheels on the side and the roof wheels has stepway finished and copper color as well. Just like uh, the Dacia logo that is spelled out uh, on the back on the car. You also get a Sandero sticker basically. Uh, this is just a sticker uh, with a gray font. And this is also exclusive for the extreme trim on this car. Now let's have a quick look at the luggage compartments now that we're here. Uh, obviously this is not exclusive to the extreme version. Uh, as always, uh, the luggage compartment is 330 liters. So not bad for a car this size. And you also get some under floor storage. And uh, let's have a quick look at the back seat situation. Now let me open the door. Now obviously there's a lot of plastic and Dacia models, even in this extreme version. Uh, so this is all made out of hard plastic. Um, but uh, the back seats are different because you get some new material here, which is called micro cloud. Um, it looks a little bit like velour uh, and it feels kind of soft, uh, but apparently it's very durable and it is very easy to clean according to Dacia. Uh, so this car is basically aimed at people that are very outdoorsy, uh, that like to go camping, like to have adventures. So they made the interior very easy to clean. You also get these rubber mats, again with a topographical design and they're very easy to take in and out so you can uh, clean them basically. Um, so. Let me just have a sit here. Now, uh, the leg room, like always, is pretty decent, but not incredible and in a car this size. But, but I'm 1 meter 80 and I'm still quite comfortable here in the back, especially because I can put my feet uh, under the seat all the way down. So that's quite comfortable. Uh, you got some little uh, storage uh, pockets here. And also there's a 12 volt outlet here as well, uh, but not proper USB ports. The front seat's also covered with the micro cloud material. And you got some copper stitching going on here. Again, you got some rubber mats here with topographical design. Uh, these are actually pretty big. 
uh, but again very easy uh, to take out of the car and finish you also got some soft material here in the armor vest uh, and again the copper color details here as well just like here and the air vents um, in the rest of the interior you also get some copper color elements here in the center air vents and, and that's basically all that is new on the interior of this extreme version Now, I do have to say that every time that I do get in a Dutch shop, I'm always surprised by the amount of luxury that is inside this car. Now, obviously, uh, this is not a very luxurious car. Like I said, there's a lot of plastic all around you. But you do get like electric windows all around. You also get a backup camera, which is actually pretty sharp. It's even sharper than in some German cars, to be honest. So I'm always a little bit surprised by that. So that's basically everything on the interior that is unique to the extreme version of this uh, Sandero stepway. Everything else in the interior is identical to a regular uh, Sandero. Um, the motor options are also identical. So you can get 90 horsepower, 100 horsepower, and 110 horsepower. Now, if you wanna have an automatic on this car, you have to go for the 90 horsepower version. Uh, and like I said, you can also get a 100 and 110 horsepower. The 100 horsepower version is pretty interesting because that is the uh, bi-fuel version. Nowadays, that's called the Eco G. Uh, version at Dacia. That's the version that can take LPG and petrol as well. An option that is standard on this extreme version uh, of the Sendero Stepway is the little button that you get down here. Uh, the button that looks like a car that is standing next to a Christmas tree. Uh, and if you press this button, uh, the motor will send most of its power to the wheel that has the most grip. So this car has front wheel drive, but if you do need a little bit of extra grip, when you're stuck in the mud, for example, you can push this button and then, like I said, most of the power will go to either the right wheel or the left wheel. So even though this car doesn't have four-wheel drive, according to Dutch this car is still pretty capable of roads. So that's everything you need to know in a nutshell about this extreme version of the Sandero Stepway. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, hit that subscribe button. And then I'll see you in the next one.